Okay. No. Okay, now I turn to the third case. And again, first without comment. So first I present the right module. I think that it is obvious that this module has uh, amateur artifacts. No, I try to stop the video at an appropriate time. So here I think that this one uh, is a commentary artifact uh, by enlargement. But this figure is a debris. This is not a commentary artifact. This is a debris uh, of uh, pre-existing or existing solid part. Okay. Uh, one more consideration. This is the nodule, and here you can see the solid part. This linear form corresponds to a back wall poster enhancement figure, and this is clearly a peripheral type cyst. Here, no solid parts, but at the dorsal part, uh, here is a quite uh, large uh, attachment uh, to the inner wall of the Module. So this is a peripheral type cyst. And one, 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 one thing, uh, this uh, quite hyper echoic solid part uh, is caused, the hyper echogenicity is caused partly by the presence of uh, cystic fluid. Uh, this is the augmentation of the ultrasound wave dorsal to cystic parts. Here you can see another part of the solid portion. Uh, this is quite uh, far from the cystic area and this is much uh, darker than this part which is uh, clearly uh, close to the cystic uh, part. Comments, questions? Okay. See, one question. Okay. Uh, the, the, the anterior limit of this nodule is infiltrating the capsule of thyroid? Um, no, I, I don't think so. It was a benign uh, nodule. Uh, but uh, you have right that I try to. So here, here. Uh, yes. we do, do not see uh, the parts, but the, it is caused by the fact that uh, the cystic part and the sternocleidomastoid muscle have identical echogenicities. Uh, so, in this case, it was a very clever uh, comment. Uh, I don't think that this would be uh, 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 a sign of infiltration, but in nodules which are located in the ventral part of the nodule, not infrequently we do not see the capsule. Uh, it is the topic of a later chapter, but I, I uh, uh, say now that the thyroid indeed has not a true capsule. The thyroid has a pseudo capsule. It means that connective tissue uh, attaches the thyroid to the surrounding uh, uh, tissues. So uh, the thyroid does not have a real capsule. So such uh, uh, discontinuations, for example, here, this uh, part yes. and this part can correspond uh, to the capsule, but be aware that here we also cannot see capsule. So the, the issue here is that uh, the cyst has an almost identical echogenicity, this cystic part, 
uh, to the strap muscle running just ventral uh, uh, to the thyroid. But uh, uh, okay. this nodule presents one of, uh, not one, two of the possible three signs of an extra thyroidal extension. The first is the abutment. It means that the nodule is in close contact uh, with the thyroid uh, in a quite large proportion of the nodule. The second, that the capsule is discontinuous. The third, the abutment, such uh, emerge, uh, we cannot see. But uh, you have right, this nodule shows two of the three possible signs of an extra fibroblast spread. But this was a benign nodule. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, other comments, questions? Okay, now let's see the left nodule of this case. Short question, I start. What suspicious characteristic this module has? Taller. Yes, yes. Yes, taller than white shape. Yes, yes. So this is a non para orientation. Calcification. Yes, yes. So, so this should be regarded uh, as a thyroid 5 lesion in the American uh, thyroid, uh, ETA thyroid, and in the European thyroid. But it is not a, a thyroid 5 lesion according to the AACE or ACR or Korean thyroid because it is not hypoechoic. It is uh, uh, practically econormal, isoechoic. So the European and the ETA guideline uh, classifies this module as a 5 IRIX. IRIX module, all other three classi would classify this uh, as a, a thyroid 4 uh, lesion. It is not the current team. So uh, actually we see two nodules next to each other. And again, uh, our today topic, uh, these uh, hyperechoigenic lines and granules are presentations of backward cystic figures. But be aware that uh, in the everyday practice, uh, it is an, uh, absolutely not a rare situation uh, that uh, the examiner overinterprets uh, some of these figures and gives a report that uh, the module has microcalcifications. For example, this one or even this one, but note that this is just dorsal to cystic areas. <clears throat> 